Hi everybody, it's Matthew here from Bead Spider. How are we all doing today? Uh, I, I've been away for a few weeks, but I'm back. I'm going to be showing you today how to make a gorgeous beaded poppy for Remembrance Day. So obviously with Remembrance Day coming up in uh, about a week's time, I thought it was the perfect time to make a, a fun, simple, easy little design that uh, incorporates some seed beads, there's a bit of wire work, and some fun findings to make a really beautiful poppy uh, brooch that you can just sort of pop on and wear whenever whenever you want, you know, for, for if you're going out and about or anything, or just to sort of show show your uh, your respects, I suppose. But um, yes, I'm looking forward to today. Hopefully everything is all working fine and dandy. I know usually we're on at 1 p.m., but today I thought we would go for 3 p.m. Um, let's see, are the comments working? Hopefully they are. If you're on Facebook, I'm not sure if the comments coming through. Hopefully everything is working fine at the minute. Uh, can't quite tell, uh, but let's just press on and hope for the best. Um, so yeah, today I will be using some Preciosa size uh, 11 seed beads. You can use whatever color size seed bead you want, um, but it should it should work just fine with, with Preciosas. You can use 11s, 10s, whatever it is. Um, whatever takes your fancy, you can, you can just sort of use those um, to, to sort of make your poppy. So you'll need a red, a green, a little bit of black. Um, I'm using a 0.4 millimeter wire, which I can't remember the gauges on that one exactly. Um, someone, will, I'm sure someone will tell me. It's probably 22, maybe 24 um, gauge wire that you need. Um, and then yeah, a bit of a bit of time, which is what we're hopefully going to be doing today. Um, Lots and lots of people jumping on. Uh, Nancy, who was on nice and early, she says, Hi from Pennsylvania. Hi, Nancy. Uh, thanks for joining. We've also got Antida. Uh, she says, Hello, all. Um, we've got Nina here. She says, Good morning from Davy in Florida. And Francis is here as well. She says, I hope you're feeling much better. Yes, uh, much, much better now. I was in hospital for a week there, but. Um, I'm I'm all good and better now and well, you know, recovering, recovering from surgery. It was a planned surgery, so nothing to worry about. Um, but yes, feeling much, much better and uh, ready to do some bead tutorials again. Um, you know, what, what have you guys been getting up to? What have you been doing? Um, <clears throat> you know, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm right here to answer your questions as well, as always. Um, one, uh, uh, as always as well, don't forget if you want to be featured on the show, uh, send us your pictures to the email there at the bottom, live at beadspider.co.uk and I will um, try and get you onto the show so that I can show your pictures towards the end. I won't show them just yet, um, that will be sort of more towards the end. Uh, we've also got Caroline who's here. She says, uh, yay, first time watching live since July. I work Fridays. Hi, Matthew and everyone. Um, lots and lots of people are joining in, which is lovely. Uh, here, there we go. There's Caroline's comment just there. Um, oh, so what do you think about the new 3 p.m. time slot? We've got, uh, I suppose I should... Um, hi to Seema as well, by the way. Um, I should just let you know the plan for the next few weeks. We got lots and lots planned. That's why uh, we're doing a Wednesday today. Um, it's the start of, I suppose, busy season, as it were. So uh, we're planning, planning, fingers crossed it will all go to plan, but planning to do uh, three videos per week. So we're hoping. If all goes to plan, we'll be doing Wednesdays at 3 p.m., we'll do Fridays at 3 p.m., and we'll also be doing Saturdays at 3 p.m. So uh, what do you think about that 3 p.m. time slot? You know, uh, message on in, um, tell me what you think, if, if it's too late, if it's too early, what, what what's your opinion on 3 p.m.? Because that's going to be our, our new time slot that we're going to try out um, at the minute, I think. Um, but yeah, that's that's uh, sort of the plan for, for the next few weeks. Lots and lots of 
fun, exciting, amazing things coming up. Um, there's a really big announcement coming, hopefully within the next week. So I won't say too much just yet, but uh, there's something really big and fantastic, a big announcement coming within the next week. So make sure you're watching all of these live videos. And uh, if you're not over on Facebook, um, be sure to, to like our Facebook page because we'll be announcing it on Facebook as well. But finally, um, just before we get into the tutorial, um, as always, like and share this, this video. So uh, if you're over on YouTube, make sure you're hitting that little subscribe button. I think there's a little button just down here. Make sure you press that little button uh, plus the little bell notification to make sure you get the notifications of when I'm going live. Um, same on Facebook, but otherwise, uh, there is a little link in the description, it's either up or down depending on if you're on YouTube or Facebook, um, that says sign up for more tutorials or um, more tutorials or patterns and things like that. Um, and that will subscribe you to our email list. And that's the very, very best way to find out exactly when we're going to be doing everything that we've got planned. Because um, I think we'll be sending an email hopefully on a Monday, maybe a Tuesday. We'll see how it goes. Um, and getting that all prepped and ready and live for you to um, sort of know exactly what's going to be coming that week. Um, lots of people saying uh, 3 p.m. is good. Um, yeah, everybody. So far, we've we've got 100% success on the on the 3 p.m. Uh, everybody seems to think that that one is a a good little time slot. So anyway, um, let's let's take a little look at the things that we're going to be needing and using. Um, but yeah, and let's get ourselves underway. Hopefully, I can keep myself not too tangled. I've got, you know, because we're using wire today, I'm trying to keep myself as as neat as possible. But, um, oh, wait a minute. Need to just plug my little camera in there and hopefully, there we go. Um, my camera became a little bit loose, so I almost wasn't able to show you anything with my, my hands there. Uh, so let's just pop myself up into the corner, shall we? Here we go. Great, now we can see me and we can see what I'm doing. So, um, I've got some 0 0.4 millimeter wire. As I said, I think, think, think that that is maybe 22 gauge, 24, I don't know. Someone comment in the size in gauge and I'll, I'll pop your little comment up saying what size it is once somebody tells me the accurate sizing for the, for the gauge of the wire. Um, 0 0.4 millimeter though. Um, I've got some green seed beads here, I've got red, and as I said, I've got black seed beads. They're all the same size uh, as well. Um, but yeah, they're, they're, they're all the same size. Plus as well, I've got, you need some cutters. Some pliers are useful, but not entirely necessary. Um, and then finally, the little finding that I'm gonna be using, this little fellow just here, uh, the little hat pin, which if you want to check out these um, these little findings, if you click the link up in the description, uh, I think it's uh, it should take you to where all the related products are for the tutorial today, where you can also find the kit. The kit is 15% off. So if you want to get the kit, um, it's I think it's it makes three and it's under nine pounds. So so about three pounds per little poppy. So an absolute bargain, but they look fantastic. But there you go. The reason I'm choosing this finding is that it has a beautiful little shower head piece there at the top. And then at the bottom, it's like a hat pin style thing. There's your, your little pin just here and a little cap to go on that. So it's perfect for threading into jackets into lapels, whatever it is that you that you fancy. Ah, great. We finally got someone who's just messaged in. Doris, you were fastest finger. She says it's 24 gauge wire. So 0 0.4 millimeter wire or um, that's uh, 24 gauge wire that we've got there. Uh, if that's more the size, the, the size system that you're used to. Um, we did also, uh, I'll just pop this one up here. Marie Thomas. She said, hi, Matthew. Good afternoon. Glad you're feeling, uh, feeling better. Really enjoyed Jermaine's pearl knotting. 3 p.m. slot will be fine. So in case you missed it, um, I did the pearl knotting. Uh, I didn't do it. Jermaine did pearl knotting. Ooh, express delivery. 
there we go. A nice cup of tea with my name on it. Uh, literally with my name on it. Um, yes, so uh, that's the... Um, oh yeah, I need to pop that one away. Uh, yeah, in case you missed it, Jermaine's Pearl Knotting tutorial just the other day well, uh, on Friday was uh, a really good one. We had a massive reaction to that one. People seem to, to really love that one. Um, so yeah, let's uh, let's begin with our, our little tutorial, shall we? So as always, I've got my little instructions that I can show you. Um, Doris says, nice to see you well again and that I was missed. Well, thank you. I missed all of you guys as well. Um, you know, I was I was still in at, even when I was in the hospital, I was still looking through all the, the lovely messages that you guys sent me on Facebook. And uh, so, you know, I, re I really appreciate that one. Um, oh, wow. We've got a uh, someone from quite quite a distance away. We've got Maribel, who's joined us from Colombia. Hi, Maribel. Uh, she says, I'm enjoying learning the project. Thank you. Well, thanks for joining, uh, Maribel. Is this your first time out of interest? Who who here is brand new? Who's never joined me? Um, who Who's a first timer on the stream today? That's what I want to know. So anyway, first things first, let's get on with our little tutorial um, and I'll get my beads out of the way. I don't need the green ones just yet. I don't need the black ones. It's the red that we're going to be using. So what we do, essentially, I'm going to just pour out a load of beads. And lucky for you, you don't have to watch the actual full length process of this. I'm going to um, be threading them on to my wire, just one by one, just, you know, sort of pick them up. You can use a bead threader if you have one, but they literally just thread straight onto your wire like this, and then you slide them down. Luckily for you, you don't have to watch it because I've pre-threaded loads of them uh, already all on here. So when I pull that nice and tight, assuming I've just done the right end, no, I haven't because I'm silly. Um, the beads are already threaded, thankfully, so you don't have to spend ages watching me thread beads. They are already all pre-threaded. There we go. So you need about 50 centimeters worth of beads on the uh, the thing there. So about half, half a yard, half a meter, essentially, uh, of beads worth of that red color. So thread those on into a nice long length and then essentially what we have to do, we just slide them down onto our spool and we give ourselves a nice little bit of a working space. So you can see just here, this is the end of my wire. What I'm going to do, let's just zoom in real close, real quick. Here we go. Uh, so this is the other end of my spool here. We don't need that one. Um, but yeah, this is the little end of my spool. I'm not going to need this for very long, but I'm going to just create a little loop at the end there. Doesn't matter what shape it is or anything, just so that beads don't fall off the uh, the end of your, your little spool. See, there it is. There's that little loop I've made. And essentially, that's going to stop my beads from just sort of popping off the end, uh, which is pretty important. You don't want them to fall off yet. Um, luckily, though, um, we'll be able to sort of work with them very, very quickly. So again, like I said, we want to leave a little bit of working space at the very bottom, which is going to be our sort of almost tail of our wire. So leave about maybe 10 centimeters or something. You can be generous. Um, leave a little bit extra, a little bit less. Ah, we've got a, a new timer, a first timer. Here we go. Linda O'Coin. Uh, she says, hello, I'm a first timer. Well, uh, everybody, you know, send in a message, say welcome to Linda, thanks for joining, uh, and glad you could be part of the, the the little bead family that we're creating here. So anyway, as I said, uh, we've got about 10 centimeters of wire just here, and what we need to do now is just, from our spool, slide down 11 beads. So I'll just count them real quick, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and one more is... 11. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. The great thing about this, it's called French beading. Uh, it's very free form, so you can sort of play with it and do whatever you want. Um, now let's have a look at my first little instruction. So here's the first thing. What we're going to do is slide down these 11 beads um, 
to the the sort of the working position. So where I'm going to start working. So like I said, I want to have about 10 centimeters from the end of the wire to where I'm going to start working. And then that is where I will create this little loop shape. So see how the beads just sort of loop around like that? That's what I'm going to do right now. Um, so lots of people welcoming you here, Linda, uh, which is, is lovely to see. We got lots and lots of comments, both over on Facebook and YouTube saying hi to you, Linda. So uh, I'm, I hope you're enjoying the show. So anyway, like I said, um, now let's just zoom in a bit. Leave yourself that 10 centimeters of space at the end. And then we're going to create a little, oh, wait, I can put it in the corner for you to see. There you go. How's that? Um, take that little piece just here and then we'll loop it over into a small little loop just like this just there and if you hold it at the base you can see you've got a nice little shape starting to form you can sort of round it a bit more if you want to and then what we're going to do is give that a few little twists we want to keep it relatively square so I've got one neat thread one wire sorry coming this way and then my working my, my my tail piece is going sideways and then what I'm gonna do is just take my fingers here and then go twist once twist twice twist twice that's a fun word to say and twist a third time just there and then that's going to create a nice little loop at the top which if we take a quick look at my instruccione there we go, and this is where we are now. So we've created this first little loop. This is sort of the uh, the center of one of our little petals. So if we take it back up into the corner, you can see that's what I've got just here. I'll pop it into right-handed view, shall I? I know you guys prefer it when I've got it in right-handed view. So let's just flip it over. There we go. Now it looks like I'm a right-hander. Uh, so I'm sure that's hopefully better for all of you. Um, now. Uh, as I usually do, one second, I need to just make sure, there we go, that should hopefully fix that problem. Um, great, now the next thing that we're going to do, I'll just show you on the screen real big, nice and big there, is create a loop around this one. So you know how I told you it was relatively free form to make this uh, this little design. This is sort of what makes it free form because it doesn't really matter how many beads that you've got there. I mean, you can, if you want to, count them so that you know exactly how many you've got round, but it does not matter at all. You can add as few or as many as you like. It's just to sort of give it that nice little effect of, um, sort of creating that petally shape. So I'll just thread down some of my red beads here. And essentially what I'm gonna do, in fact, I'll take so that I've got too many. So I have way too many, just so that you can sort of see that it doesn't really matter how many beads you've got. See, look how many I've got here. And essentially what I'm gonna do is just rotate it round the little headpiece just here. So there it is just there and rotate round, rotate round, rotate round until eventually my little piece sits with a nice loop of beads all the way around. Just rotate it back round so that it's upright for you. There we go. And then there we go. That, that fits quite nicely. If I wanted to add a little bit of extra space, I could sort of add an extra bead or two if I really want to. But I think I quite like my loops being relatively tight. So I think that will do for me. Uh, let's just slide down these excess beads. And then you can see, here we go. And then what we do now is pinch the two wires together. So see how I've got my, my tail thread and my working thread. And then pinch them nice and tight right at the sort of the little base piece just here and then like I said as we do we just twist once twist a second time and twist a third and then there you go you can see we now have got slightly more petal happening so if we take a look at it big I'll just repeat that again with a third row and Bring it back here now. Thread down some beads, just as before. 
There we go. And then wrap my wire into position and go all the way around. Keep it nice and central on the screen for you if I can. There we go. And wrap all the way around that little bead again. There we go. Get my little tail piece out of the way. And then there you go. You can sort of start to see that we've got around about the right number of beads. I've got a few excess, so I'll hold it relatively flat and sort of just let it show me which how many beads. There we go. So you can see at the bottom there, that's where it sort of wants to sit so that it's about the right size. Is that going to fit? We can take a little look at it and then we go, do you know what? Actually, I think I might want to see it's a bit loose just here. Maybe let's make it a teensy weensy bit tighter. Just fiddle with it till it's exactly the right size. There you go. Just one bead less was all we needed. Pinch it nice and tight. Pull the threads so that they're firm, no gaps in the wire. Get it nice and pinched and then cross them over. See that? So that they're nice and crossed over and then pinch the wires and twist, twist, third time just to be sure. Maybe I'll even do it a fourth, there we go. And then you can see our petal, once we just sort of mash it about and fiddle with it, it takes on a really lovely little petal shape. How's that coming together? So if we take a look at the next instruction now, I'll pop it on the screen nice and big for you and have a sip of my tea, I think. Um, I think I've earned a nice sip of tea. What do you reckon, everyone? Um, what I have to do now essentially is leave a tiny gap towards my spool where I've got all the beads already threaded and then pick up another 11 little beads there at the beginning. So if we take a little look, my just zoom out a touch. There we go. My beads are all up here on the thread. So I need to leave about maybe a centimeter or so is a gap in the wire and then slide down 11 beads to that point. So let's just get my 11 beads. So one, two, three, four. I'll slide them all the way down for now. One, two, th one, two, three, four, five. One side caught some beads alive. Um, there's another five and then a sixth. So there we go. There's my 11 beads. I'll take these ones back out of the way and put them onto my spool a bit more. They should just slide back on. And then, like I said, Let's just zoom in again so we can see what I'm doing here. And let's uh, start creating the next little bit of loop. So we only want to leave a small space. It doesn't need to be too big. Um, Linda says she loves tea. So do I, Linda. So do I. Keeping myself refreshed while I'm beading for you. Where's everybody else from, by the way? Uh, I know Linda said she's from Arizona. I know we've got people here who are in India. I know we've got a Colombian. Um, lots of people who are my regulars in the UK here as well. Um, but where's everybody else from? Um, and especially if you're new, let me know where you're from. I want to know. So like I said, we leave a little bit of space. Not too much. That'll do. Uh, about, you know, finger's width, maybe less. And then we just create our next little loop like so. In fact, about there, pull the wire so that it's sort of giving me that little gap. See the uh, that about about that centimeters gap there. Make sure they're nice and firm, and then pull my wires together and one, two, three twists. And essentially, we just repeat this process to create the entirety of our little. Um, our little petal. So again, I'll just wrap round again. So there we go. So I can hopefully do this. I'll do it. Um, I'll do the full process. Do you know, I think I will. Um, it takes a little bit of time, but you know, why not? It's a bit of fun. I've had I've had a, a week off, so uh, so so hopefully you can enjoy that. You can enjoy a bit of beading time. Uh, plus, now's a great time, by the way. If you if you want to ask me any questions, 
um, pop them pop them on now because now is the best time to ask them while I just make my my little petals uh, you can be asking me questions so um, anything you want to know do ask uh, we've got Charlotte here from Massachusetts lots and lots of you from America which is fantastic don't forget guys if you want to get this kit um, it, it is 15% off and it makes three three uh, three little full poppies three brooches so I've got that there now and essentially I'll just twist once twist twice and twist a third time there we go and then finally I'll do my third little loop around get my wire to come down here there we go get that in position wrap it round the outside there find that perfect amount of beads to just wrap around just about there hold them together get rid of all these excess beads that we don't need now so there's see look three more we don't need get rid of them too um there we go and then again we just pinch and whoops there we go pinch come on now pinch and twist 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 um there we are and now ooh, we've got a few people who have just said they've just popped in now they're a little bit late so for example uh whoops wrong one um here we go uh there we go late again and i'm from durham that's uh ida just there like Ida and also like Monica here who said I missed the beginning um, if you want to watch the beginning again the great news is uh, once this tutorial is over the bead spider website which if I just show you the home page very very quickly you will be able to just pop on to the bead spider website and watch live from the very beginning again so um, hopefully I can just show you that on the screen it's just loading all of a sudden oh, the internet's running a bit slow I think um, come on now load little page whatever what is it doing clearly because I'm streaming to you all my internet's running a bit slow so it doesn't really want to show you my internet loading my page doesn't want to load good grief well anyway there's oh there we go now it's coming uh, so yes if you click on this big button right here right in the front uh, Remembrance Day Beaded Poppy tutorial click on that and that will take you to the page where you can watch the video and just here at the bottom where it says Beaded Poppy related products if you click on that um, you can uh, see all the related products so the poppy kit the um, yeah the poppy kit is there the um, lots of other beaded flowers and all the related products as well so the uh, the red beads and everything the the the, um, the green beads the wire everything should be available there on that page um, so yes you can access that from the link in the description or like I said from the the home page on the bead spider website um, so where am I now um, actually let's find this one just here uh, great so now again what we need to do ooh, my instructions have just jumped back to the beginning for some reason let's get them back in position ah so yes this is what we're doing we're creating five of these little petals in total um, so that's the the uh, the next step we're gonna do is again one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven little beads leave about a centimeter of space that's about enough just here fold it and let's get continuing with picking up our little beads shall we so um, have we had any more comments uh, not too much here we go so there we go so I've got my 11 beads I've made my little loop so again we'll just pinch them and whoops twisted it the wrong way ha <laughs> ha how silly so yes pinch them together um, and then we're going to tw come on now twist once twist twice 
twist a third time. There we go. Um, yeah, Monica said she didn't know the tutorial would be at this time today. Well, um, just in case you missed the beginning, um, we're going to be doing 3 p.m. For, for November. We're going to do just that little bit later just to try and uh, make it so you... Um, little uh, so you Americans can watch as well because we want you know all of our American family to be able to watch as well um, live because I know it was it was very very early in the morning for a lot of you and a lot of you are saying come on it's too early can't it be a little bit later so that we can watch live too so uh, that's why we've decided 3 p.m. but also um, just to add to the fun of that we have three videos per week for the next few weeks planned um, and we also have another very big ex uh, exciting um, announcement coming very soon in case you missed that um, but that will all be emailed so if you haven't done it before the little link in the description for um, signing up to our newsletter make sure that you click on that it'll send you to a page where you can first sign up to the newsletter but also if you do sign up you can try out some of our patterns for free because we make a lot of beaded patterns like you can see the uh, the little diagrams that I've made up here in the top corner they're part of the instructions for our beaded poppy uh, the uh, if I just hold them up here uh, see here they are a little beaded poppy brooch uh, there's the instruction just here um, I've made it so that so if you want to sign up from that little link, you can get little patterns like this one just up here. Uh, you get five pound voucher to try out some of our little patterns. Um, so that's something definitely worthwhile trying out, I would say. Um, ooh, where am I? Here we go. Oh, my little face camera froze for a second there. So uh, let's just continue along, along until I've got all three of the, all five of these little uh, pieces made. Hi to Joe. She's just joined us. She says hello. Thanks for watching. Um, right. So let's just wrap around the the next one here. Might have a sip of tea in a second. So again, like I said, the fun thing about this particular design is it's all very free form. If you want to make the the petals bigger. Um, uh, it's a little bit bigger. You can just add more beads to, to your petal. If you want to make them smaller, just make them a bit tighter. Whatever it is you want to do, it's entirely up to you. And then once you've got it in position, you just, let's remove one more bead. Don't forget to send in your, your uh, pictures, everyone, to uh, live at beadspider.co.uk so that you can be on the show. Because, um, uh, there we go. Uh, yeah, don't forget that if you if you do send us your live pictures, I'll try and show them um, at the at the end of the show. So whatever you've been making, whatever you've been doing, um, I'm happy to show them off. That's uh, kind of half the fun of what we do here is we show off all your hard work too. Um, so there we go. Now we've got three petals. Again, see how they're a bit different spaces apart. Does not matter. Does not matter at all. Um, that is perfectly fine. Um, I don't know why, but for some reason, it seems my my little face camera is a bit a bit jerky, a bit out of sync today. Um, don't know what's going on with that one, um, but hopefully it's all okay. Uh, now, let's do another eleven beads. Let's see what was the question. Ah, will that wire break if you twist it too much? Well, um, it's pretty strong. Uh, wait, I'll pop that one up on the screen because that is a good question. Uh, there we go. Here we go. So the question was, Jan Alston, will that wire break if you twist it too much? As with all wires, uh, Jan, if you if you weave them, weave them, and twist them, and turn them, and, and sort of manipulate them, and bend them, and stuff, you can you can fatigue the wire, and um, uh, yeah, the um, you can fatigue the wire, and it can sort of break. But usually, that shouldn't be a problem because you shouldn't need to um, twist it too much or fatigue it or anything. So let's get eleven more beads. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Um, looks like we've got a bit of a family reunion here. Um, 
with with Joe and and Doris. It's Auntie Doris apparently uh, joining. They've both joined uh, today to 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 watch the stream. <laughs> a bit of a, a bit of a laugh going on in the uh, in the in the Facebook group there. The the comments there. Um, but yes, because it's it's quite good. We can we can do that sort of thing with if you're watching on YouTube. Hey, feel like jumping over to Facebook? Do it. If you're watching over on Facebook, make sure you do that too. Oh, speaking of which, um, this is a fun, exciting thing to mention. Um, I think, uh, especially if you want to help me out, everyone. If you're watching and you haven't done it before, in the bottom corner, subscribe. So wait, it should be maybe here somewhere. Uh, on YouTube, there's a little button to subscribe, because if you do, you will probably help us by the end of today to be finally at 19,000 subscribers. That's right, 19,000 subscribers. So, um, you know, and hopefully, it seems like we're getting about a thousand people every month. So let's hope that by the time we get to Christmas, uh, we might even have 20,000 subscribers. Uh, you know, let's 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 see if we can get to to 24,000 subscribers just uh, sorry, 20,000 subscribers before Christmas. Wouldn't that be fun? Um but yeah, so I guess the best way is if you're watching and you haven't done it, hit the subscribe button right now if you're on YouTube. Um and otherwise, uh feel free to share this video around. Um you know, copy the link, share it into your Facebook groups, all sorts of things like that. Just doing my twisting again, um, but yeah, see if we can get to to uh, you know twenty thousand. If we can get to twenty thousand before Christmas, I'm gonna give all of you guys a a twenty percent off discount code that you can use. A little bead spider tutorial watching uh, our little bead community. Um, a discount voucher when we get to 20,000 subscribers. So come on, everyone. Let's let's see if we can get there. We're going to get to 19,000 today, I think. We were at 18,000 just a couple of weeks ago. So let's see if we can get to, to 20,000 before Christmas. I'm sure we can do it. And if we do, I think we'll do a, a, a you know, a, a coupon code for all of you just to say thank you at 20% off. What do you reckon? Do you reckon we can do that? Um, what do you think? Uh, so, I'm just doing my fourth petal, got it nice and pinched, and I'll just twist once, whoops, twist twice, and twist three times, hopefully be in shot the whole time, there we go, and now, finally, the last one, and then we can sort of move on from our red ones, um, Doris says, you keep buffering and stopping. Is even my hands, are my hands buffering too, or just my face? Because I've noticed for some reason... This camera seems like it's buffering a little. I don't know why. Um, maybe if I just hide it for a minute, it'll it'll sort of fix. But um, hopefully, hopefully my hands aren't buffering too much. I, I should hope. Uh, let's just do this one last one, and hopefully I can get this little camera up in the corner fixed so that uh, it'll stop buffering. I don't know what's going on with it. It's just not behaving today. Um, but yes. So yes, hopefully the audio is all working. Everything should be fine. Hopefully there's not too much buffering going on. Um, but yeah, let's let's do this final little thing just here. So one, two, three, four little beads. Five, six, seven, and eight, nine, ten, eleven beads again. Ah, uh, there we go. Oh. Uh, Doris says, all of me is buffering. Um, maybe it might be your... Yeah, lots of people saying it's good on my end. Um, I have a feeling maybe it's your internet, Doris. Maybe. Maybe it's just the internet's a bit slow um, where you are today. Not sure. But anyway, uh, let's get this last one and hopefully um, it'll pick up and you'll be able to... St hopefully it'll stop buffering. Um, anyway, so let's just make that one a little loop. And I'll put my face back up in the corner and we'll see if it's fixed anything. I don't think it's done anything too fantastic for me, but uh, there we go. So let's just make that little loop. Get my fifth one happening here. Let's just pop my face and instructions back on. Ah, oh, the instructions have jumped back again at the beginning. There we go. This is where we're at. Um, now, and 
whoops, get back in shot and twist once, twist twice, twist three times. We've almost got our fifth one on. Let's just slide down. I should have done a, here's one I made earlier, but you know, hopefully you'll forgive me. I was, I was uh, resting and healing up and not, and not doing my homework, my bead homework of getting my stream ready. I was, I was resting on the lounge chair instead. Maybe I should have, Maybe I should have got my thing ready, just because then we could have jumped onto what the leaf looks like a little bit sooner. Because I'll do that next, shall I? It's quite similar, but um, actually no, I think I'll do my little stamen-y bits for it next. Um, there we go. That'll do there. Pinch that in position. Oops. Make that one... Yeah, that'll do. I'm happy with that. And then twist once, twist twice. Twist three time. I'm enjoying saying twist twice all the time. That's good fun. Um, and last one now. Thread a few more beads down. There we go. Loop it round. Like so. There we go. Come on now, little friend. There we are. Pick him up there. There we go. Um, Kay says, how was my vacation? Well, it wasn't too much of a vacation. It was uh, a surgery instead. So I was in hospital most of the time, uh, getting my my uh, my healing on. I was resting and healing because I don't know. I don't know if I've, I've if I've mentioned it before, but quite um, about eighteen months ago, I went. I was in, on holiday in in Thailand and. Uh, Maxine and I, we decided that we would get a uh, a little moped scooter to, to travel around on because for the cost of one taxi ride, we could hire the scooter for uh, for three days. That was the same price, one, one taxi or three days of scooter. And unfortunately, on one of the, the later days on our trip, because, you know, we were there for about two weeks or so, um, a bus decided to run through a red light and sort of hit into us. Um, so we got knocked off of our scooter and, um, you know, I had a bit of stomach, uh, stomach injury. And so I had to go into hospital and, and they finally had to do a second part of the surgery on me. Um, you know, we're, we're both fine. We're all okay. Uh, but yeah, they, they had to do a second little bit of surgery to, to chop out a bit of bad bowel that I had. So that's all gone now and everything is, is back to normal and A-OK. -okay. So there we go. I've got my five little petals just here. Again, like I said, it's fun because you can make them free form, whatever size that you want. And I'm going to just take my cutters and cut both of these wires to the same size, just here. Cut that off just there. And then you can see I've now got my little piece just here, and it's got two little tails, which we'll come back to those in a little while. We don't need to deal with them quite right now. Um, let's get on and start playing with our little stamen-y bits. So to make these one, there we go. So this is what I'm going to be making. Um, the I need 25 little black beads here. So I'll just slide them out and count them. Make sure I've got the right beads. Don't know if they are. Oh, well. Uh, so one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's 15. That one's 20, and there's 25 little beads there. So I need 25 beads in total. Um, and now I'll just thread them onto my wire real quickly. It doesn't take long to thread just a few beads. One, two, three. Whoops, come on now. Get on the wire. Nice black little opaque beads. Again, I, I, uh, I'm I using Preciosa seed beads. I love using Preciosa. It's my, my favorite just because I think their quality is, is fantastic. So if you haven't used Preciosa beads before, um, I do highly recommend them. Their, their quality is fantastic. Um, the beads are all really, really regular shape. The holes are quite nice as well. Um, but yeah, they've got lots and lots of different colors. I think in total they've got somewhere... Um, 
in the region of about 10,000 colors, but you know, I'm just using black right now. Uh, so we have a question from Doris. I'll pop that one up on the screen. She says, your cutters look very good. Are they special ones? Well, um, yes and no, they're, they're, they're nothing too special. Um, they, they're slightly different. So it's a different form of um, flush cutter. So instead of the ones where you come in from the side, these ones are great because you sort of cut both, like sort of gives you a flush cut both ways, but you can sort of come into it from a different angle. That's why I like these cutters. You can, of course, use ones sort of more of the same straight style where it's, uh, where's my camera? There we go. Where you can come in like this, but um, I've decided to have a go with these ones because I quite like them. And Shish asks, are you using 26 gauge wire? No, I think it's 24 gauge. Uh, someone did comment in earlier saying it was 24 gauge. Um, but yeah, that's uh, those are my cutters just there. Um, and June says, uh, sorry to hear about your accident, but glad you're feeling better now. Hope Maxine is well too. Maxine's doing very well, actually. Um, you know, she's got a bit of a, 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 a scar on her elbow because she, she broke her elbow. But um, otherwise, we're both doing fine and dandy. So now what we're going to do, it's very, very similar again. I'm going to leave myself a little bit of working space just here, so about 10 centimeters or so. And now I'm going to bring down five little black beads. That's all I need. One, two, three, four, five little black beads. And I'm going to create a little teeny weeny loop with just those five beads. So that's the first little part of my stamen. There we go. You can see I've, I've kind of looped it. If I pull the two wires in opposite directions, you get a really small little loop just there. Pinch at the bottom. And then this one, I'm going to do slightly more times. One, two, three. And then I'm going to do another three just because it makes it a bit longer and a bit more stamen y. Because these are my stamens. One, two, three more. And now you can see, I'll just zoom right in there. You can see, nope, I went too far in, I think. It's not going to quite zoom in. There we go. So there you can see I've got just a few extra little twists and it makes them just that little bit longer so that it's kind of more stamen-y. A lot like my little picture up there in the, in the, in the top corner. So there we go. We've just done that. Now what I'm going to do, if you see my little picture up in the top corner, um, Lurdus has only just joined us now. Uh, she says, good afternoon, everyone. Um, uh, she says, good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon to you too. Um, oh, and apparently Jermaine has just looked it up and maybe it is 26 gauge wire. We don't know. We can't work it out. Um, it's one of those. But anyway, it's. I know it's definitely 0 0.4 of a millimeter, but... Uh, Maybe it's 24 gauge, maybe it's 26, I don't know. So anyway, I'm going to leave a little bit of space, so about a centimeter again. Make my little loopy piece. My loopy doopy. Don't know why I called it that, but, you know, sounds fun, doesn't it? Loopy doopy. And my... There we go. My two twists. There we go. Twist twice. There we go. And now let's just twist these again. One two, three, four, five, six. Now you can see, there you go, just that little bit extra length again. Bring it a bit closer. And let's do the next one. So one, two, three, four, five beads again. Get that up nice and fairly close. And then make a little piece like this. Oops, no, I'm a bit too close now. Oops, sorry, I was a bit out of shot. Didn't even realize. Let's zoom in, shall we? Here we go. So just get myself in position. Just there. And oh, I've dropped my beads. Oh, I'm having a time of it with this one. This little stamen just doesn't want to be my friend. Here we go. So get that in position. Loop it over. Get it nice and small. And then twist once, twice three times, four, five, and six. There we go. That's the next one. And let's continue on again. One more. One, two, three, four, five. Oops, dropped them. 
One, two, three, four, five beads. And bring it up. Leave my gap. Fold them over. And then just as before, one, two, three, four, five, six. And finally, one last little fella to add. So five last beads. There we go. So this is why we added 25 beads. One last set of five beads. Leave that little space. Make my tiny loop. If it will loop for me. There we go. Make my tiny loop. And then pinch them together. And whoops. There we go. One. Oop, didn't quite pinch them firm enough, did I? There we go. Keep them pinched. No, pinch both wires. There we go. Pinch and one. Two, three, four, five. Ah, oh, just out of shot. Six. There we go. Let me just pop my chair in a bit closer and I won't get out of shot anymore. And then there you can see now I've got all my little stamen-y bits. Just like in my diagram up there in the top corner. Five little stamens all there together. And again, let's just cut my wire where to put my cutters here they are bring that in give that a snip so i put it into left-handed mode for a minute does anyone want it in left-handed if you want it in left-handed view now is the time say put it in left-handed i want to see some left-handed stuff otherwise i'm going to keep it in right-handed view so let me know right now if you want it left-handed i'm going to have a sip of tea hmm Right, now let's take a look at the instructions just here. Now what I have to do is sort of bunch my little stamens into a little group. So that will turn them into, like in the middle of a poppy, a nice little bunch of little black stamen -y bits. So here they are just here. I'll just squeeze them all in together, bring them nice and close to one another. Um, here we go. So June says she wants it in left-handed. Maybe when I get on to doing a leaf, I'll do a left-handed bit. Uh, just briefly, just for you, June. No problems. Um, oh, and Donna as well. Gemma, Donna Gemma? I don't know. Donna Gemma? Which one's your first name? Which one's the last name? I don't know. Um, so yeah, there you go. I've just sort of smushed them into a group. You don't need to be too, too uh, I don't know, precise about it. You just go, just like that. And that will smush them into a nice little group. Um, once you've got them in a group, again, you just hold them nice and firm at the base. And then twist a few times just to get your two wires sort of joined together. Like this. And there, you can see we have a nice little bunch of stamens like that. Um, now what we have to do is the same with our little flower section. So again, it doesn't matter too much just yet about the flowers. We want them relatively close together, but not too close. Um, Kay says she loves the sound effect of my little, my, of squishing my stamens together. I enjoyed it too. Don't you worry. Um, so. What I need to do now, essentially, I'll just get my stamens out of the way, is bring my little pieces together. And you can, if you want to, you can sort of pull these tight and twist them. Um, and then... <laughs> right, so I assume Donna is your first name and then Gemma is your middle name. I probably should have guessed. I probably could have guessed that one. But anyway, so I've just twisted these a little bit more together. Once you smush your little stamen pieces together as well, you can give them a bit more of a spin and a twist and everything. So just get it all sort of bunched into a nice little shape there, like so. And then 
maybe turn some leaves over. If you have a look, you can see, see how like, for example, this side of your, wait, where is it? See how this side of this stamen and this side of this stamen, you can see quite a bit of the wire. If you turn them over, sometimes you don't see as much wire. So you can sort of fiddle with them and decide which way should be up and which way should be down and whatever takes your fancy. And then what we're going to do is see this little hole we've created in the center. We're gonna take our stamens just here and into the little gap just there and that will sort of plug that little hole up. So now what we can do is sort of smush all of that together nice and tight like so and then again holding really firmly at the base of my flower I can just give that a nice sort of a twist, twist it um, and there we go, nice and firmly, just like that. And then you'll see, you'll start to create this beautiful little flower shape. And once you've got him relatively ready where you want them, you don't need to do this yet, but you can sort of play with the, the, the petals, sort of overlap them if you want to, so that they sort of overlap one on top of the other, on top of the other, and so forth, just like that. And then eventually, you've got this beautiful little beaded poppy coming together just like that. Um, oh, Charlotte's just popped in a, a fun comment. She said, let's see if it shows it all. Oh yeah, my mum's going to love this. Wait, I'm gonna make it bigger so I can actually read it. My mum is going to love this. I'll probably make these with her over Christmas and New Year's holidays when she and my stepdad come to visit this year. Sounds lovely. Um, well, the good thing is, don't forget, if you are getting the kit, um, it's 15% off. So it makes three, three of them in one little set. Um, uh, here, when the poppy is done, what is the actual size of it? it? says K. I will show you soon. I will use it. I'll show you it in context with the size of my face, shall I? So that you get the, the gist. Let's pop it on my screen just here. Right, let's see. So there you go. We can see it in terms of... Makes my eyes pop. Um, I'll tell you the, the size. I'll measure him, shall I? Oh, I know. Jermaine, Jermaine's just popping in and, and giving me a, a nice little ruler so I can measure it for you. Lots of people asking how big it is. So let's find out. I'll tell you in inches and then I'll tell you in centimeters as well. So um, total size across is, if we say that's zero, about one to one and a half inches there. That's about one, one and a half inches. What do you reckon? Um, there we go. About one and a half inches across. Something like that, which equates to about three and a half centimeters or so. Something like that. Well, it's flipped. Right? Let's put it back into left hand. There we go. Now, now the numbers make sense. So it's about three and a half centimeters across, which is about one and a half inches. There we go. How's that? Um, there we go. There we go. There we are. Um, so now, now that we've done that, let me put it back into right hand mode. There we go. I'll pop my instructions back up. Where am I up to? Ah, yes, leaf time. It's leaf time. Oh, it's time to leaf, everyone. Uh, so what we're going to do now, we need to get ourselves a piece of wire just here. So again, we've got our wire. I've added a little loop on the very end so nothing can fall off uh, just yet. And then um, uh, now what I'm going to do essentially is create a little loop at the bottom. So see, wait, I'll show you this in the diagram form, full size diagram, here we go. So what I'm gonna do, you can see that little part on the right, that's only small. We don't need it to be terribly long at all, just a few centimeters um, long will do. So essentially what we do, we take about 20 centimeters of wire in total and we bend it into a loop. So then, wait, I'll just do it. Let me just show you, rather than say everything, let's just do it. So this is about five, 
five ten. I zoom out so we can actually see what I'm doing, shall we? Hopefully you can see the wire all okay. Um, so yes, the. Uh, Oh yeah, Jan says you could make it bigger if you perhaps. Yes, of course. Um, another way to do it bigger is just each petal, just add more beads. Instead of starting with 11, start with 20 if you want a bigger one. Start with whatever takes your fancy. It's entirely up to you. Um, so yes, I've got my little tail piece just here. I know we can't quite see it the way I would like you to, but essentially what we're going to do is create a little loop. So I'll fold that in half, round about there, so there's in half, and then holding the two together, in fact I'll give myself a little bit extra just to be safe. Better to have too much than not enough. So I'll just pop my finger in the end, hold this around about here, because you don't need too much, and then we're going to just twist with my finger a few times to get it sort of twisted into a nice loop like this. So then we have one piece just here, which is going to be um, sort of the core of my my little leaf, and then this is the piece that goes off to your your pre-spreaded pre-threaded spool of green beads. So you thread on about thirty centimeters worth of green beads there, um, and then you uh well, that's what we'll sort of be working with in a bit of time not quite yet but soon so anyway what i'll do is just undo this little loop for now and to make that nice central core of my leaf it's time to use some green beads and as promised just for you june uh let's put it into left-handed mode for just just a minute shall we so there we go, we put it into left-handed mode. I need five little beads just here. So we have one, two, three, slide them down. My wire's a bit loopy. Let's just cut that bit off because I made a little end bit. Let's cut him off. There we go. So yeah, one, oops. One, two, three, four, five little beads, slide them down, and they're going to be the, the, the sort of the core of my, my piece. So if we have a look at the instructions nice and big, I've threaded on, oh, why does it keep going back to the beginning? I need to make sure I turn that off. Uh, so there we go, I've got my five little beads on my core, and I'll just make sure I've got a loop at the top, or at least a bend, so that it's not going to come off again. Um, make sure those five beads stay on and now what we're going to do is pick up some beads and go around this little piece um, this little core piece to start our little leaf so let's just zoom in a tiny touch shall we let's zoom in we don't need these beads so much on the tube anymore we've got them pre-threaded on our wire so let's make our little leaf shall we get them out of the way too there we go. Um, I have no idea why the camera in the corner just does not want to catch up. It's going so slow today. Don't know what's going on with it. It's just a bit on the slow side. Who knows why? Um, I just can't get it to catch up. Now, um, so as I said, what we're going to do, now it's in left-handed view, as promised, uh, for you Donna as well, um, or actually Vanessa, as you said your name really was. Uh, <laughs> so we've got our five beads and what we're going to do just like with our little diagram at the top why why does it keep doing that keep having to cycle through them it's probably just a very simple setting so now what I've got to do is make sure I've got my little beads like this and I'm gonna bend them across like so so that they fit nicely around this little core piece. So keep those five beads at the bottom and then, yeah, that'll do. That's about f right there. That's the, I think that'll do the number of beads. I'm happy with that. So you don't need too many beads at the beginning here, but we just have these little few. And then essentially I'll turn this to be at right angles to my little leaf piece here. And then what I'm gonna do is one twist, 
two twists. So you need to ha you have to do an even number of twists. Otherwise, it's not quite going to work out properly. So it's very important that you do an even number of twists. So see that? I've done two twists now, and my wire is back where I've started. If I do three twists, my wire's back on this side where this loop was. So that's no good. We need to do a fourth twist. So like I said, there we go. Now it's back on this side. And I think four will do for now. You can do extras if you want to, but I think four is enough. Much like the French and one egg, it's enough. Um, now, terrible joke, I'm sorry. Uh, keeping my core nice and straight, I'm going to add the other side of my leaf. So if you have a look at that little diagram up there in the top corner, I'm going to create the next piece on the opposite side. So let's just thread some beads down, just slide them down, doesn't matter how many, just yet. So there we go, got those down, and again, I'll just hold that in position and wrap that around so that it's a nice sort of fit, see like that. Again, I want it to sit at right angles, so whoops, did I lose too many beads? Make sure you don't lose too many beads. There we go, that's a nice fit, I think. Pull it a bit tighter, maybe, see how it looks. Yeah, that'll do, happy with that. So then again, it's important, don't forget one, two, an even number of twists, three, four, there we go, nice even number of twists, very important, and there you go, now you can see I've still got my core straight and this piece at a right angle, and now let's just do it again. So then just slide down a few more beads, I'll put it back into right hand for a second by the way. Uh, so there we go, that's that just there. Again, that's about the right size, right angles, and then twist once, twice, twist three times, and four. And our leaf is coming together nicely. Slide down again, more beads. Get them coming down. There you go. Hold them nice and firm. My wire's getting a bit in my way. There we go. Try and get it back out of the way. Get that nicely in position. How's that looking? Yeah, that's good. I'm happy with that. That'll do. The right number of beads there. That's good. So again, at right angles, pinch it in position. And one, and two, three, and four. There we go. So now... We're in position to do the next one. And we keep going round and round and round, adding row after row after row until we've added seven rows. So one, I've done, I've got my core, then one, two, three, four, five. This is the fifth. Oh, sorry, a bit out of shot there. This is the fifth one. There we go, that fits there. Again, try and keep your core nice and straight and right angles to it. There we go, and twist one, two, three, four. There we go. I'm gonna need to thread down a few more beads, so let's just get them back off the spool. This ought to be plenty to do the rest of my leaf just here. There we go, and I'll put it into right-handed view again for all of you right-handers. There we go. So, loop it round, thread my beads down, loop that around. So this is number six we're doing here. Or is this number seven? Maybe this is, yeah, this is the seventh. This is the final one. It's the final leaf part. So just pull that there, put it in position. Or is it? Let me check. One, two, whoops, got a bit caught there. Two, three, and four twists. There we go. And that gives us, let's count them just to be sure. So if we count from left to right, one, two, three, the core is four, and five, six, and seven little loops. And essentially, 
what we're going to do now is let me just see if there's a little setting that keeps resetting them. Nah. -ha. Great. I know it's reset it just once, but that's going to be the final time it resets now. There's always one tiny little checkbox, isn't there? One little button. So um, here we go. We're now at this point just here where we've got seven little beads looped together. And what we're going to do now is cut our wire and sort of bend it back onto the side. So maybe I'll bend it first and then cut it. So I'll just show you very, very quickly. Um, yes, there we go. So this is the top of my leaf. So see how there's the loop end at one end? We don't do that with, we don't do this with the loop end. We do it with the opposite end here. We just fold it down into position, something like this, get it nice and close, sort of push it right in if we can, and then just come in with our cutters, nice and firm. Just, you can even lift it out if you want to, make sure you don't cut any of the other wire. Cut it to the right size and then just use your thumb to just push it in the gap so that it disappears away. See that? You can't see it anymore. Pretty much gone. There we are. And now what we're going to do is, now that I've got my finished loop, I'll do a few more twists with this little um, bit of wire that I have here. So if we have a little look, this little piece just here, I'll just wrap it a few more times just to make it super secure so I don't need to worry about it too much. Try and keep them nice and close to the base of your, your wire there. That will probably do. And then get our little wire cutters and give this a snip. There we go. Then maybe just sort of press it down with your fingers a bit more. And then see how we made this loop at the beginning? Open up the loop and then just cut one side of it. Doesn't matter which side, just one of them. Cut that and then you can see it opens up into a nice long length, one single length there. So this is the back of your leaf and this is the front. The way that you can tell is because this side it hides all your wire. You don't see all of your wire. So make sure when you're bending this part over, I've just realized I bent it to the front. You should have bent it to the back. I should have been paying attention. But anyway, so the way to tell which is the front and which is the back, this one at the bottom, there shouldn't be too much wire. When you look at the back, you will see your core of wire. That's how you know that's the back of this leaf and this is the front. So make sure you fold down towards the back, which I didn't do. So essentially, that was just me being silly. But uh, there we go. Yeah. And if you want to, at this point, just in case this little bit is sticking up with a little burr, uh, like you can see mine is, just take a pair of pliers to it and just smush it down a bit so that it's... Oops, there we go. Keep it in shot. I'm sure you want to see it. There we go. Give that a little smush and then... Make sure all my wires are all nicely twisted and everything together. Um, thanks for watching, Robin. She said, have a, have a bead-filled day, everyone. Thanks, Robin. Um, so yeah, we do exactly the same again so that we have two little leaves and then we bring in our little poppy piece like this. So there you go, there's a poppy and two little leaves. And essentially what we're going to do now is assemble it onto our little brooch piece. So what we need to do essentially is attach them to our little wire finding here at the back. Now the easiest way to do that is if we sort of join them all to a single core. So let's just pop back to me here. What I'll do is, because I don't need all of these wires, I only need two of them. I've got four here. And if you know which ones, you can probably tell the two that are, if we, wait, I'll just zoom in. Um, here we go. Oh, this is, this is a bit of fun. Um, I'll just pop it out here. Uh, Robbins just said, shout out, uh, shout out from the Swinomish, uh, no, I don't know, Swin, Swinomish, is that how you say it? Swinomish Reservation in La Corner, Wisconsin, is that? W-A? Um, 
but there you go. Uh, thank you, Robin, for... Oh, lots of people uh, joining in. But yeah, that's... Um, wait, who is that? Yes, Robin. Yeah, Robin. Great. I was, I, was, I was confused for half a second there. But yeah, big shout out to everyone at the uh, Swinomish Reservation in Lacona. Uh, so yeah, you can see just here if I bring it nice and close. This one's sort of the ones that are straight and then there's two that are sort of a bit wrapping. These, this one is... Wait, well, get my finger underneath. If you can see, this one's sort of the one that wraps around. So we don't really want those two anymore. We can get rid of them. We can sort of just cut them off uh, and leave them for now. So that we've got just two. There we go. And then again, squish them if you want to. Get rid of the burr. Um, like that. Ah, oh, Washington State. Oh, yeah, WA Washington. My bad. Um, great. So there we go. There's my little flower. And what I'll do is just feed these into the little finding piece here. Um, so just through the center. So essentially one on one side and one on the other. So let's try and keep it relatively even like that there. doesn't matter too much which ones you go through. And as we thread those down, it should hopefully pull nicely into position at the back of our little piece just there. There we go. How's that? So there's that there. And now essentially, I think it looks nice when you've got maybe a leaf around here. By the way, don't be too worried if you start getting gaps and stuff. We can smush it all again later. Um, so yeah, I'll do the same with one leaf over here, which I, there's there's a couple of ways that you can do this. It's sort of a, again, it's a bit more free form for whatever feels best for you, but essentially any way that you can get it to secure to this little piece just here. So the way I kind of like doing it is I'll put it approximately in position. Make sure you've got the back of the leaf uh, towards the back of your flower. I put it approximately in position and then I'll just sort of wrap it around a little bit around the finding so that it's approximately going to just be held there only loosely. It's only mildly important. There we go, like that. Oops, I just spilt a whole load of red beads. If you've heard that noise through the uh, the microphone there, that was the sound of a thousand little red beads hitting the table and spilling everywhere. That'll all have to be cleaned later. Doesn't matter. But anyway, that's approximately where I want it to sit. So that is fine. And now I will take that wire and just bring that through my sieve. Again, it doesn't really matter where on the sieve. As long as you pull it nice and tight, should just lock that one in place. There we go. Um, oh, Jan says, smush. Is that like squidge? Yes, it is. You got a squidge earlier. Maybe I'll do a smush noise. I don't know what a smush noise sounds like just yet, but I'm sure it will come to me. So take my second leaf. And I think I'll put this one on the opposite side. So pop that one there. This one I think I'll put around maybe somewhere here. So again, I'll put that approximately in position. I'll wrap it round my inside there. You can wrap it multiple times if you want to, but you know, it's not too, too important just to get it relatively firmly in place and then pick a hole in your sieve and thread through. So just up through this little hole just here. If I have a look, I've got one at the bottom, two there. So maybe I'll take this one through the top because then I'll have one at the top, one at the bottom, one at the side, and one at the opposite side. So there we go, pull that through. Get that nice and firm. And that should work relatively nicely to keep it in position. So I'm going to do the big reveal at the end. So you're not going to see it yet because I'll fix it all up at the very, very end. But essentially what we do now is just take each wire and because we've got this little base piece at the bottom of our thing here, we can sort of wrap them around there to give it a bit of leverage. So I'll take this one here and just try and get it 
nice and close and just sort of wrap them one by one take your time it doesn't matter too much but just wrap them slowly around your little piece one by one by one so wrap that one a little and if you do them little by little one by one by one they sort of all get twined around each other as well which is always good for helping them stay nice and firm so just twist that one let's come back to this one now twist that around a bit let's go with this one now as you can see I kind of like singing to myself a bit um, but yeah whatever as many times as you want you can keep going just do it and to it and do it make sure you don't go around the corner though so if we have a look sideways see how it's a nice bent piece you don't want to go around this corner because then if you start going down it's going to be a problem when you go to pin it into things you'll have wire all the way down here and it won't pin into stuff so make sure you don't go around the corner just keep wrapping around nice and slow into a big fat blob big fat wire blob there we go and a bit more I mean it's pretty much it's pretty much stock on now it's not gonna go anywhere like this but do you know what that will do um there we go um sheesh has just said I am so digging that pin back well they are fantastic we chose these particular ones just because they are so sturdy for um for usage they're, they're they're great for pinning and the great thing is because you've got this big pin the pin structure more or less helps you to keep it super firm let's pull it all nice and tight by the way there we go and i mean it's tight enough now i'm i am still just wrapping because you can just wrap forever if you want to like m, &M. um but once i've done a little bit more last one great all right i think that will do i think that will do i think that's enough for me let's hide that little comment now and now i'm going to just spread them out and cut them so there's one and just come in and cut that fella here's number two wrap it once more There we go and i'll just cut that don't worry about them sticking out from your thing we'll smush them at the end um, another smush or a squish or a, or a squidge squelch them whatever anomatopoeic word takes your fancy there we go one last twist cut that one there too and one more you can be cut around here somewhere so there we go so it's a big fat spirally loop i mean i probably did it too much but doesn't matter um and there we go and then i'll just take my tie of pliers and just give it a bit of a smushing to sort of get it really really neatly caught up and everything try not to get around the corner you can even push it down just use your pliers to sort of squeeze it all together and harden it and get everything so it's not moving at all nothing is going to move after this process i tell you that there you go so that is great now i'm very happy with that and now at this point see how i've just made it into a big fat smushed mess that's perfectly fine because the wire will just bend as i want it to to sort of get my leaves so we can sort of play with them move them around fiddle with everything it's all pretty secure now just give my uh, little piece there a nice little squeeze push that one there do them all sort of so they overlap one another and this is sort of the the final step you just sort of overlap everything get your petals looking perfect to whatever desire whatever takes your fancy get it all looking beautiful align your little leaves and there you have one wait let's just try and hide my wire a bit more with my stamens there we go perfect 
I'm happy with that. What do we think? And there is one finished little brooch. So let's just... Uh, wait. Get my... Oh, I'm about to lose some beads on the floor. Yes. Did I lose them on the floor? Yes, I did. Oops. I'm making a big fat mess today. Jermaine will have fun cleaning that up for me. Ha ha ha. Aren't I naughty? Um, here we go. Where's the one I want? There it is. Get rid of that little instruction. There is my finished little pin. Just like that there. Turn him over. I mean, it looks a bit messy, but you can clean that up if you want to. Just get that nice and neat, that little bit at the back. Um, and then you can just undo your pin. Make sure your leaves are definitely um, showing the back, not the front. So yes, that's definitely the backs. These are the fronts. So there they all are. But like I said, you can sort of bend your leaves if you want to, smush them, make it look perfect. And then when you want to go and wear it, you can just... Wait, let's hope the... I don't understand why it's so glitchy. Wait. Uh, wait, I'm going to try and put it on my face camera, but it's super, super glitchy. Come on now, little friend. Behave. No. Well, anyway, so now I can just undo this little pin piece. Pop it in my shirt. Or through a jacket or whatever it is that takes your fancy. And then, like I said, because it has a nice big piece, if I... Oh, I'll do it under my shirt, shall I? Oh, I've done it a bit too low. You can't see it. But anyway, find the underside here. Plug it into the pin. Come on now. Doris says, do you sell coloured wire to make these poppies? Do you know, I was thinking about it, but I didn't have enough time to get it. So anyway, I've got my little pin attached. And as you can see, it stays perfectly upright. It doesn't want to fall off. doesn't come down. It stays nice and sturdy. Even when I bend down and up and stuff, it stays exactly where I want it to sit. Just because my... Uh, Pin is more or less holding it perfectly in place. Wait, I'll show you once more. There we go. See, look at that. I can move. I can dance if I want to. And it doesn't go anywhere. It stays perfectly because I've got a nice little pin holding it exactly in position. So there you go. What did you think of that, everyone? One perfectly finished little brooch piece just there. Oh, do you know what? What a fool. I was going to put it on the bigger screen. Wait. There you go. Now you can see it. There we go. And he doesn't fall over. He sits nicely. Look at that. But yes, we're thinking of getting some coloured wire because we're going to be doing some more flowers coming up to Christmas. So I know we haven't got them right now. Uh, but yes, there you go. Perfect for the 11th. Remembrance Day, Veterans Day, whatever it is that you call it from wherever you're from. Uh, that perfect little pin will sit there all day long and it's not going anywhere and in fact if you want to you can even pin it into something a bit further down but there you go there's that beautiful little thing and like i said uh, if you want to get it the kit makes three so just go to beadspider.co.uk and get the kit it's 15 percent off so um as always uh, i think it's about time i showed some of the pictures that people have sent in so if you want to be on the show send us your pictures to live at beadspider.co dot uk oh i tell you i'm out of breath from having to stand up um but yeah so send us your pictures live at beadspider.uk um if you missed jermaine's tutorial last week um be sure to check that one out because it's a really good tutorial um pretty much showing you if you've ever done pearl knotting before you've done it the wrong way do it jermaine's way it's much much better it's a really really clever technique that you will uh, that you learned in Jermaine's video. So if you missed the video on Friday, watch it. Um, and I'm going to pick up a few pictures. We'll see if anyone sent them in. Oh, I've also got a video, don't I? Yes, I do. So um, let me see if I can just. Oh wait, let's go back to my face, shall we, real quick, so you can actually see me. Um, and then I'm going to show you the pictures that we have from the start. Uh, where are they? Ah, here we go. So first things first, we have from Charlotte. Oh no, wrong one. 
Uh, here we go, from Charlotte Benner. She's done a scarf and sarong ring. Um, she made my, my little tutorial that I did the other day. Um, oh, Doris has asked, how much is the poppy kit? Um, wait, I'll just pop your little question up onto the screen there, Doris, if I can find it. Here we go. So the poppy kit, it is on sale £8.95. So um, a bargain, 15% off, and it makes three for £8.95. So, so very, very inexpensive. Uh, so here we go. Um, oops, there we are. So yeah, there's Charlotte Benner's scarf ring, which she's also sent us a picture um, a video, sorry. Let me just see if I can find that one. Uh, here we go. There we go. There's, uh, that little sarong ring that was made there by Charlotte. Um, looks fantastic. Great job there by her. Looks beautiful. But yeah, that was one of my little kits. Charlotte Benner there, uh, made the scarf and sarong ring. Um, we also have... Agnes Fertos, it says, from Birmingham, UK. She says, wait, let's make it a bit bigger. Hi, Matthew. Um, here are my very first Cellini spiral bracelets. Great little technique to start out with there, Agnes. Um, Cellini spiral is great fun. Um, the memory wire one happened as a necessity as I ran out of the colourful big beads. They were from a repurposed necklace from charity and she needed to finish it creatively. Well, anyway, that looks great there, Agnes. I love the uh, the colours. They're so vibrant and fun. Um, looks beautiful. Great work there. Um, let's have a look at our next little picture. But yeah, Cellini Spiral, that's a that's a fun, very, very, very fun technique. I should do a tutorial on that one. Ah, oh, Jan Alston, she sent us the first of the three bracelets. She's uh, fincished it. Fincished it. I wonder if, if if you wrote that, Jan, or if Andrew, I dare say, I dare say Andrew's put a typo in that he fincished it. Um, Yes, so well done, Jan. The uh, Starburst bracelet that you did from my tutorial as well. Another great tutorial um, that you can you can go and watch at any time if you want, by the way, people. Um, here we go. Uh, we've seen Charlotte one there. Um, I'll just check and see if any more pictures have come in, if Andrew's been dealing with those while I've been streaming. Any others? Uh, maybe not. Maybe he hasn't got them processed yet. Oh, well, looks like that's all for now. Um, I will come back to them in a few minutes. Um, here we go. Oh, this is a nice comment. Maybe I'll pop that one up on the, on the screen, shall I? Uh, ooh, wait a minute. Yes, am I on screen? Yes, here I am. Great. Um, let's see. Where's that comment gone? Here it is. June, she said, that's great, thank you. You make beading so doable. Haven't used wire yet, but after watching your tutorial, I now form, feel more confident um, about trying to do so. Well, I'm glad I could help you there, June. Um, uh, yeah, I, I had fun with it. The, uh, the, the wire, it can be a little bit fiddly, especially when you're only new with it, but you definitely get the, the hang of it very, very soon and, and you tame, you tame the, uh, the wire. But yeah, um, that's, uh, that's, uh, more or less it for today. Uh, I will check in a minute and see if any more pictures come up. Uh, oh no, he's gone to the post office. He's already gone to the post office. That's the problem with doing these tutorials at three o'clock. Just before five, we have to go to the post office. So Andrew's off and gone now, so I won't be able to show off any more pictures. If you've sent them off though, uh, if you've sent us some pictures, or if you're thinking about sending some pictures, I've still got my little brooch on, by the way, in case you wanted to see. He's still sitting perfectly there. Should have put him a bit higher. Um, Yes, so if you if you want your pictures shown, I know I didn't manage to get them on today, but um, apparently there's a few in there. But uh, yes, yeah, sorry about that. But I'll be back again on Friday, or maybe it'll be Jermaine. Um, we're going to be doing another tutorial Friday. Then we'll also be back again on Saturday. So in for all of November, we're planning three videos per week, always at 3 p.m., so write this down, or better yet, better yet, 
sign up for our little newsletter. There's a link up the top that says Be Inspired and Newsletter. Click on that and sign up because then you'll know exactly when we're going to be going live. But yeah, like I said, Wednesdays 3 p.m., Fridays 3 p.m., and Saturdays 3 p.m. So Friday we're doing the Tranquility, and then on Saturday, um, I have a feeling, yes, more. there's more coming on Saturday. Uh, you'll have to wait and see what that one is. I'm not going to announce it quite just yet. Um, but yeah, Tranquility, our Tranquility set is going to be by Jermaine on Friday, I believe. Um, might be me. We'll see who comes on. Um, but yeah, make sure that you uh, are signed up to our newsletter so that you know exactly what's coming. It's always at 3 p.m. Um, it's going to be 3 p.m. Wednesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays all month. Um, and as I said, we also have a very, very big announcement coming very soon, which make sure you stay tuned. Um, that one will be probably sent out in an email as well. So again, if you are signed up, um, you will find out about that. Um, and as a little bonus, when you do sign up to our newsletter, we give you five pounds to use on beading patterns. So much like the little poppy pattern from today. Oh, it's a bit bright there. There we go. There we go. You can see my, my poppy pattern. Let's put it back into... No. Wait. need to flip it so you can actually read. Ah, uh, there we go. Beaded poppy. Ah, uh, yeah. Things like this. Um, the entire instruction, you've got all there written for you every single step of the way. The entire process. How to do it from beginning to end and how to assemble everything. All of it is included. Um, yeah, have a look that at our patterns um, because, as I said, you get five pounds worth for signing up. Um, I'll just show you on the Bead Spider website. Hopefully, the website is loading a little bit quicker now. Um, if you've never been to our website, it's very, very easy to to navigate. Oh, K asks any word on the recipe. Yeah, I definitely should get mum onto that one. Um, I don't know if she's here watching. She might watch the uh, the replay, but um, it's um, Azra. Azra, that's her her traditional recipe. So we'll try we'll try and get that one out. Um, Dora said thanks. Uh, she's looking forward to making these poppies as much as the cats. Um, yeah, the cat tutorial. That was a very good fun one as well. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching, Doris. Uh, but yeah, let me just show you real quickly on the Bead Spider website. Uh, here we go. So, um, the beaded poppy, it is just here. This is this one just here. As you can see, it's only £8.95. So you make three brooches. It is 15% off, less than £9. Or if you like the lavender and you like our little pretty petals beaded flower as well, you can get all three of these for an even bigger discount um, with our bouquet just there. So you get all three. It makes six items. So you'll make three poppies, two lavenders, and one of our pretty petals beaded flowers. All of those come together just there. £26 for all three. So very, very good value on that one. Even bigger saving if you get all three. Um, but otherwise, we do also have some, some lovely green beads here. There's red and black beads as well if you need. Uh, we've got the wire a bit further down and we also have the pin with a sieve. But uh, yeah, if you want to have a look as well while you're there, if you have a look just up here at the top where I've got my um, little menu, if you go to kits and tutorials, you can see all of our beading patterns from here because we've got beading patterns. If you go to all patterns, you'll see them all there. Um, all of our beading patterns are here, but otherwise we also have our entire video tutorial library. So click on that little video tutorial library and it will take you to this page right here, which is our video tutorials page. And from here you can see, for example, today's beaded poppy brooch live tutorial. Want to watch it on demand because you missed the beginning? Click on that button and it will take you straight to a page where you can watch. Um, the pearl knotting video that Jermaine did, click on that one. The crystal kitty cat that Doris was talking about just a minute ago. I know it's a bit late, but the Halloween one, that was super duper fun, but it's a really good one for learning brick stitch. Um, spiders. But yeah, just scroll down. We've got so many videos that you can go through. Um, look, you can load more. These are all the tutorials, by the way. Um, 
So here you go, look, lots and lots of live tutorials here. How to do the lavender, for example. Um, this one, the Times Square bracelet, that's a really, really popular bracelet we have. Um, we did one on the Ruth Bader Ginsburg necklace as well, by the way, which is quite topical if you want to watch that one. Um, this one here where it says Constellation Necklace, that will show you how to do a Ruth Bader Ginsburg style collar as well. Um, we also have a techniques library, so some of the techniques from beaded flowers, similar to what I use today. Um, lots of stitching techniques, all sorts of different things in there. Um, but yeah, lots and lots of different things that you can um, take a look at. Uh, but yes, please, just like Donna over here, or was it Vanessa? Uh, she said, I just subscribed. So make sure you do as well. And especially if you're watching over on YouTube, um, definitely click the little button or if you're on even if you're on Facebook jump over to our YouTube channel and then there's a teeny weeny little button right here somewhere here uh, right in the corner little red one click on that and subscribe because we've pretty much looking like we'll hit 19,000 subscribers today uh, but we want to get to 20,000 before Christmas um, so help us get there let's do it let's get there you me and everyone else share the video like it you know, all of that sort of things. And let's try and get to 20,000 subscribers because that would be absolutely amazing. But anyway, um, I am off. I'm going to go and finish off that tea that I didn't drink. I'm going to eat a little bit of um, afternoon snack and get myself ready for planning our upcoming videos. Because like I said, we got a lot coming, a lot coming, three per week all this month. Um, so yeah, make sure you're subscribed and everything so that you can be involved and please do share this video um, and spread the word. Um, have a lovely day and we will be seeing you again very, very soon, I'm sure. So have a lovely day and I'll see you later. Bye bye.